you know when something starts off really good and then just kind of falls apart as it goes? That's what happened here. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for episode 10 of Supernatural Season 12. Apologies for the lateness of it. I said it was going to be more on time. I apologize, there were reasons for this one. Either way, this episode took place after Castiel has now put the cosmic events of what we don't know. Most likely this will be a factor into how the season continues into season 13, definitely. But Dean is upset with Cass because he saved him. It was kind of silly. I don't know. It was some funny not talking humor. But then Castiel gets a call from an angel that he has done some stuff with in the past. And it turns out that his old crew, an old crew of his that did a mission a long time ago, are being hunted down. And it all comes back to this Nephilim thing. The whole idea of an angel having a child with a human. Now, they said that apparently this idea, just a normal angel and a human having one, is disastrous. They have no idea what could happen with an archangel. Either way, it turns out that something like this supposedly happened a long time ago, and the crew who did that mission, who took out this child, are being hunted down. And what actually transpired started off as probably one of the more interesting, morally complex episodes of Supernatural this season so far. It was a woman who was the, the mother of the child that was killed and she was using Enochian magic to stay alive and to go after the angels who wronged her. And this was really cool, the moral complex, the idea of a mother wanting revenge against angels even though they were right to do so to take out the child. And this moral complexity, like I didn't know who to root for because while the angels were dicks, uh, they were right in what they had to do and while the woman is right in her revenge She was on wrong to have this child, but then Then supernatural pulls its normal thing where it all of a sudden the moral complexity just slides to one corner They can't keep this moral complexity in the middle They always have to slide one way or the other and it happens rapidly fast it turns out that the one of the big honcho of the crew that Cass used to hang out with is actually a super de duper dick. And he was infatuated with the human and just killed her child out of spite. Yeah, it, the whole moral complex of this episode just nosedived after that. And then came the final fight scene and it would have been cool if the same thing that happened last episode didn't happen again, it was literally like calling a play-by-play. -play. And I was like, yep, yeah, brothers get knocked. All right, and here comes Cass. Yeah, there he is. And literally, the exact same ending in the sense of how the climactic end happened, as opposed to the last episode. Like, this would have been maybe interesting had you literally not done it the previous episode. I was interested in this episode, and it had a cool concept, and then it just fucking nosedived afterwards. I'm not going to be as harsh as I should be about this episode for totally, in my opinion, screwing up a moral complexity idea and literally copy and pasting the ending from the last episode into this one, but I will give them credit for actually putting in a character, mind you, as a one-off character, but a very interesting character of this style. If they're able to kind of come up with more of this creativity, maybe this season can be, in my opinion, saved. But in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 7. It was enjoyable. I liked the concept. I didn't like how it ended. But you know what? It still had some interesting peaks to me. I was actually kind of sitting there going, hmm, I actually don't know how this episode is going to end. Oh, wait. Now I totally do. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I will promise to try and be more timely with these episode reviews. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys later.